Good evening, and thank you to everyone who came to support us tonight. Before I began my freshman year, I stumbled across a quote by Napoleon Hill that read, great achievement is usually born of great sacrifice and is never the result of selfishness. Throughout high school and my entire life to this point, I have focused my life around being goal-oriented. This allowed me to have something in my future to work for and be willing to make the sacrifice that was required. This sacrifice is different for every person, but for me, it was waking up every day, ready to go to practice, ready to go to school, and give 100% effort in everything I do. In order to be able to give my full attention and effort to all the tasks that God had planned for me for that day, sacrifice was required. This included going to sleep much earlier than I would have enjoyed, or making the choice to not participate in activities that would have a negative effect on my mental or physical well-being. Though this sacrifice got me to where I am today, standing on this stage, preparing to leave for Stanford University, the school I dreamed of attending since second grade, and earning the responsibility of representing Team USA on the international stage, it was not until recently that I truly understood the sacrifice it took to get to this point the medals, trophies, records, test scores, and every other success that I've accomplished did result in part from sacrifices I made, but these were also made possible by the people around me. Achieving goals and honoring God takes much more than just ourselves. For me, there are so many people who have made impactful sacrifices for my future, but my father and all he has given up is the reason I can stand here today. Through chemotherapy, he never missed a practice, a race, and was there for every moment. He gave up feeling well in his health to ensure that my swim career and life as a whole was not derailed by his diagnosis. The love and compassion that is required for a sacrifice of this kind, to go through the sort of pain and suffering he did just to make my family's life normal is extreme, but he was willing to give that up for us. It took me most of my life to truly understand that sacrifices made by those who love and care for me is what has allowed me to thrive and be able to have this platform here today. For some, it may seem as there is no one around you willing to make the sort of sacrifice my father did. That is simply not true. Jesus Christ has already made the absolute sacrifice. So if it feels as though there is nobody who cares enough about you to sacrifice themselves for you, Jesus Christ paid the ultimate price for each and every one of us, so that we may reach heaven. My message to my fellow friends and classmates is that as you move through the next stages of your life, look around you. Understand the sacrifice that you are making to reach your goals, but more importantly, recognize those that are made for you. Notice what others are giving up to support you and be grateful and compassionate. The sacrifice that they are making, it may be small and hidden, or it could be large and visible, but no matter the size or display, you would not be the same person without it. Understand the love that it took to help you reach your current self and return that love with thankfulness. With each passing year, learn more and more about what sacrifice means to you. One day, you guys will be the one to help another reach their dreams the same way others have done to get you to this moment. I'm truly grateful for being given the opportunity to speak as today is monumental in each of our lives. Celebrate with the ones who have been instrumental in getting you here and be prepared for what life has in store. It is a given that sacrifice will be required, so learn now what it truly means to you and embrace everything that comes your way.